Hello everybody, my name is Dillard, bringing you back another Yankees breakdown video, so without wasting any more time, let's jump right into the video. So first off, for game number one against the Toronto Blue Jays, the Yankees ended up triumphing over the Blue Jays 10-8, to giving them 50 wins on the season, improving their record to 50-28. and For the hitting core, they had a total of 37 at-bats with 10 runs, 13 hits, 10 RBIs, 7 walks, and 7 strikeouts. Torres and Voigt both recorded a double apiece. Stanton and Hicks also recorded a home run apiece. And both Stanton and Hicks recorded three RBIs while Voigt recorded two RBIs and Yershela and Gardy recorded one RBI. And with runners in scoring position, the Yankees were four for nine. For the Yankees pitching, they had six different pitchers step onto the mound, including Sabathia, Canely, Holder, Green, Ottavino, and Chapman. Sabathia was responsible for the win, improving his record to five and four. And they pitched a total of nine innings, gave up 14 hits, eight runs, seven earned runs, walked two batters, struck out 14 batters, and gave up two home runs. They also pitched a total of 175 pitches, with 118 of those pitches being called strikes. And for for game number one's MVP, I have to give it to DJ LeMayu, who went for a perfect four for four with two runs scored and one walk. And thanks to an Aaron Hicks three run blast in the bottom of the fifth inning, not only giving the Yankees a 3 2 lead, but also tied the 2002 Texas Rangers with 27 consecutive games with a home run. For game number two, the Yankees ended up triumphing over the Toronto Blue Jays 4 3, improving the Yanks' record to 51 and 28. For the Yanks hitting, they had a total of 31 at bats with four runs, 10 hits, four RBIs, two walks, and struck out four times. DJ LeMayu recorded the only triple for the game. Encarnacion, DJ, and Torres, as well as the man, the myth, the legend himself, Mr. Aaron Judge, all went long ball. Encarnacion, DJ, Torres, and Judge also recorded an RBI apiece. And with runners in scoring position, the Yankees were one for five. For the Yankees pitching, they had six different pitchers step onto the mound, including Green, Cortez Jr., Canely, Tarpley, Britton, and Chapman. Cortez Jr. was responsible for the win, giving him a 3-0 record. And the Yankees pitched a total of nine innings, gave up seven hits, three runs, three earned runs, walked zero batters, struck out 12 batters, and gave up zero home runs. They also pitched a total of 159 pitches, with 105 of those pitches being called strikes. And for game number two's MVP, I have to give it to yet again DJ LeMayu, who has been continuing to be the star piece that the Yankees need, recording a total of two hits off of four at-bats with one run, one RBI. He did strike out one time, but he did record one home run and his first triple on the season. And for the cherry on top, the Yankees, thanks to a solo home run by DJ LeMayu in the bottom of the first, are now all alone and have hit a home run in at least 28 consecutive games. And for game number three, the Yankees ended up sweeping the Blue Jays 8-7, improving the Yankees record to 52-28. and For the Yankees hitting core, they had a total of 40 at-bats with 8 runs, 16 hits, 8 RBIs, 3 walks, and struck out 10 times. Both Encarnacion and Voigt recorded a double apiece. Both DJ and Gregorius recorded a home run apiece. DJ and Judge both recorded 2 RBIs, while Hicks, Gregorius, Torres, and Voigt all recorded 1 RBI apiece. And with runners in scoring position, the Yankees were 4 for 12. For the Yankees pitching, they had five different pitchers step onto the mound, including Paxton, Hale, Ottavino, Tarpley, and Britton. Britton collected the win, improving his record to 3 and 1. And the Yankees pitched a total of nine innings, gave up 13 hits, seven runs, seven earned runs, walked four batters, struck out nine batters, and gave up three home runs. They also pitched a total of 161 pitches, with 104 of those pitches being called strikes. And for game number three's MVP, it was between Aaron Judge and Glaber Torres, but I just had to give it to Glaber Torres because he was responsible for the walk-off win in the bottom of the ninth inning, and he had a total of five at-bats with two runs, three hits, and one RBI. And yet again, the Yankees continue their home run streak and is now at 29 consecutive games with a home run. That's about it, ladies and gentlemen. If you did enjoy the video, make sure you do subscribe if you haven't already, and if you have, make sure you do click that bell notification so you never miss a video of mine. Also, make sure you comment down below and let me know your thoughts and opinions on the Yankees and this video in general. Also, don't forget to smash that like button and share this video all over social media. And last but certainly not least, I hope you guys have a great day. See you guys later.